Welcome back guys to American Truck Simulator. This will be our second uh, episode here and today we're in John Ruda's Peterbilt. Uh, let's take a quick look on the outside here. Uh, I got an 18 speed in this thing today and uh, we got the little boy trailer on here. This will be its first trip with this. We're going to be picking up a combine going to Wyoming. Uh, we won't get there today but we'll get it picked up and possibly get down the road a little bit. Um, Let's get this thing cranked up real quick. Thing sounds great. Um, so first things first, we need to grab a little bit of fuel. We got about a quarter of a tank left. So uh, we should be able to take off here. A second. Maybe, maybe not. It's been so long since I've drove one of these. There we go. Got the engine brake off. This truck sounds fantastic once we get on the road, depending on how many times I kill it. Been driving those automatics. So this is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode. Um, got a little bit of things to do here later. Um, and I got up really early this morning and recorded our uh, second episode in Farming Simulator on Cherokee Valley. If you haven't seen the first one, go check it out. Only to realize that my microphone was muted the entire time and the video was completely useless. So I figure we'll jump in here and, and do this real quick, but I hate when that happens. It's my fault. Should have double checked it. I got a brand new microphone and my old one, you couldn't mute the microphone on the microphone. And this one, uh, you can mute it. You can mute the microphone. There's a button on the microphone to do that. So I didn't check it and what I get if we can get this there we go this map back up here all right be able to get out of here okay yep. the track IR uh, that would be nice to have all right grind that one a little bit all right so we're full fuel we're we're just a few miles away from where we're uh tmc truck a few miles away from where we're uh picking up here three or four miles something like that so here we go we got that All right, should be right up here on the left somewhere. I think we're around this corner first. We're going to be heading to Wyoming, Jackson, Wyoming. So it'll be the first time that I've explored Wyoming. Unfortunately, wish it could have been sooner, but grab fifth gear here. I don't know. I think I've been here before. Arrow pointing there, so we'll go ahead and start moving over. See where they want us at. I guess we'll check in right here. See what they say. Hopefully, they still got it for us. They should have. All right, we're gonna go on the cargo market. Maybe we got our own trailer with us. Still have it there. Now we could have took the tractor. It's going to the same place. Bushnell Farms. And yeah, we got the big truck, so let's haul a little bit more weight. All right. Turn those four ways on here. And uh, this is a beautiful truck. Where do we need to take it? Uh, do we go around? Can we go around? Where do we go? Is that it right there? Just little... I guess so. I don't know if you can go around here. It looks like you should. I think that's what we'll do. When I have a smaller trailer, I'll pop up there and back back up. But I think since we have this one, we'll just... We might as well just go around the building. Just 
take it easy here since we're on some gravel. Eye on that trailer. It should be a pretty fun trip, I think. Um, I'd be excited once we get into Wyoming. It, it's going to take a little while to actually get up there. We're on price right now. But pretty excited about getting up there and seeing what, you know, what it's like. So, yeah, this goes all the way around. So, there shouldn't be any problems getting backed up there. What we'll do is we'll just bring her down this way. And then we'll shoot back up towards that area that I was talking about. Should get us straight enough. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty easy back in here. There went my phone. All right, let's see what we got out here. Yeah, it should be easy. It's gonna be a little hard to see the lines here out of the mirrors, but. One thing they always put on our trucks at work, you know, goal, get out and look. Yeah, I do most of the time. It'd be kind of cool if you could get out of your truck on here and go. I know in the, in the garage you can, but actually walk around. Alright, so we should have this pretty easily. We'll just follow it back around, get underneath of it. That should be good enough. So, we're on four ways off, pull the brakes, we're in neutral, turn the truck off, and uh, go ahead and get loaded. Alrighty. There it is. So, uh, 421 miles says we're eight hours and 10 minutes out. Friday, 2145. So, get this thing started up. And we'll leave our running lights on. And uh, let's see if we can find where we're going to stop this at. Um, this guy is going through Provo. I don't know why you wouldn't just keep going straight on six. I think that's what we're going to do. In fact, we will. We're just going to go short right now. We're going to come up, stop at this uh, fuel station right here, and then we'll just jump up 15. We'll take 6 right to 15. I don't know why you'd want to go through the... That's really goofy, so we're going to go there first, and that's what it's got us doing that then. Really kind of a dumb way it had us going, so cool. So, like I said, this is going to be a short, a short fall now, and then next episode will be a little bit longer, so. All right, we'll start off in first here, see how she does. All right. Probably won't need to split the gears here. We'll be on the high side. And, uh... Let's see, I'm gonna take a left out of here. Boy, this road seems dead. One car coming, we're halfway in the road. Do what they do. Oh boy, if they were gonna stop, I wish they would have done it. There's a truck coming, but. This thing doesn't even want to go. Alright. Alright, you're going to be stupid. That's fine. I mean, there's literally plenty of room to go by. Even where, where we were at. Alright. We're going to be clear, so we're going to... We're going to put it back in first gear. And we'll take off. You definitely feel it. That thing's back there, though. For sure. Like we're gonna have a way station coming up too. So 
nice. I love, love, love the turbo sound on this thing. It sounds so good. We got our window down, so hopefully you can hear those engine sounds a little bit. We're going to turn that engine brake on. Start back in first. That's the cop, yep. Yeah. Alright, that guy's turning. Right, we got it. Oh boy, missed a gear. I didn't take on. I'm doing so hot today. So essentially we're driving this thing, so that engine brake off. We're driving this thing like a 13 speed instead of an 18 speed, but so that's gotta be just for the other side, right? There's no way that you would that's gotta just be for the other side. We're gonna bypass it here. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna be staying left up here split this gear you don't really need to but all right so the speed limit is 55 we'll go ahead and give her a little bit more left lane ends so we're doing okay there not necessarily going to go 55 just because of all the winding roads and everything, but but anyway, yeah, like I was saying a little bit earlier, uh, recording earlier for so long and then messing, uh, you know, and I have the mic, you know, it was muted. That was just ah, the sickening feeling. I watched it and could hear everything else but me. I was like, what in the world? And then, you know, the my software was set up right and then I realized that the mic was messed up so oh well hopefully it's not this time all right so we are pulling pretty pretty good here up this hill we should be okay we're gonna have to get over we could find sixth but it's not gonna matter because yeah we're gonna be going downhill probably now one of the biggest things on this game and it you know it's uh you know not SCS's fault or anything but the biggest thing so I've got the Logitech G27 okay I hope we haven't passed uh where are we at I'm trying to look at my map here I don't know if we've passed that gas station or not yet but so one of the biggest things that uh, you can't, you just, you'll hear me, you'll hear it grind every once in a while, okay? And so when you're driving a, a real truck, like I drove a T680 13 speed, you know, it, when you're trying to say, say you missed a gear and you need to, you know, recover or you're uh, downshifting or, or whatever, right? You can feel, uh, you know, I got the G27 and I have the, uh, I don't even know what you'd call it, the truck shifter on here. So I've got the splitter and all that. Yeah, our fuel station's right up here. Um, but when you're, you can start bringing those RPMs up, say when you're downshifting, you can start bringing those RPMs up and lean in on the shifter into the gear you want to go. And it'll, once you mash them, you know, it, the matches, because you have to match the RPMs and the gear, it will, uh, you know, go right in, and you'll never get that on this game. You'll never get the, the real feeling of uh, shifting, which the automatics on here drive pretty similar to that of, you know, of what I drive in real life. Um, but man, you just can't replicate that. That uh, you know, it's like right there. You should be able. You. 
when you hear grinding in real life, that wouldn't be grinding. You could you could easily you know be bringing those RPMs up. Like say we're stopped right now, but say we're going down the road. We're tr I was trying to downshift, so you could just bump it, you know, right up to 15, bam, put it in. But if you missed one or you know whatever, however, there's different ways of doing it, right? You could just be bringing these up like this and be you know have be pushing up to the gear you want to go you know have a little bit of pressure on that shifter we'll bring in these rpms up and you, you won't be grinding but you'll the truck once it matches the rpms and the speed it'll just fall right into gear and you'll never feel that on here you're either in gear or you're grinding and that's just not super realistic again it's a game so it's not ses's fault or anything like that um but I mean, it's a great game. I love playing it. It's just, I would, it'd be so cool if you could get that realism in the shifter uh, to feel like it does in real life, you know? All right, I'm gonna take this one a little wide. We're not here for fuel. Even that, like when you're trying to you go like going from fourth to third and it's, it, there's no way you're just gonna be hitting a thousand RPMs at that point. You know, it should, you should be able to bump that up higher to, you know, 12, 1300, but, but when I did that, I didn't want to go into gear. So it's, it's, there's a little things that need to be worked on to make it way more realistic, but it's still a sweet game. It's still fun. At the end of the day, it is just a game, but let me tell you, just cause you get super good at driving, you know, manual on this game, it don't mean anything. You know, when you get in a truck, man, it's totally different or even your car, you know, having a synchronized versus a not uh, you know, synchronized transmission is huge. But once you learn how to drive a manual transmission in a truck, it can be fun. I'm not the greatest at it. I drive for a company that uh, does a lot of automatics. They used to have some manuals when I started, and I did go with another company, and I had a sweet, sweet Kenworth, uh, only for a couple days the t680 with a 13 speed in it. it was cool it was a super nice truck it just mm, the company wasn't so great but so i do believe that this is where we're going to leave this one right now and uh we have what we got 375 miles to go seven and a half hours just about so uh hopefully we'll hit wyoming uh, our next trip if not, it'll be the one after that, just depending on how long we make the videos. Uh, but this was just a quick one because I messed up so badly on my farming video earlier. So hopefully we'll have the second episode of that out. The second episode of this is going to be coming out. And uh, you guys can get this truck on Facebook, John Ruda. He has all sorts of awesome trucks, trailers, things like that that you can get. Highly recommend them. Uh, they are payware, but they work great i mean they they look great there's tons of customizations on them so if you're on ats guys head over there check him out grab his trucks they're well worth it um i was a little weary at first but totally glad i did it um and hopefully we'll be getting to wyoming next time guys so if you haven't already please subscribe we're almost at 300 uh i think we're 10 away from 300 it'd be awesome to break 300 over this video leave a comment down below uh let me know you know, if you know of any awesome trucks, trailers, where we should go, uh, things we should haul. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, turn notifications on. Uh, I'm over at Twitch, Shifting Gears. You can go follow me over there. We will be going live, uh, hopefully tonight. We will see how that goes. Uh, but it will be this weekend for sure at some point. And uh, we will see you guys back here next time to hopefully get this combine delivered up to Bushnell Farms up there in Wyoming. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.